Hello there and thank you for joining me today. Today's project, I have been working on this for literal months. Do you all remember back in March, I think, when WandaVision came out? There were a ton of things I just absolutely loved about WandaVision. The chance to see superhero characters in a domestic, different setting. Paul Bentony's really cute nose. The uh, focus of a superhero story that was on a female character. But the thing that got me the most was this cocktail dress. <laughs> second I saw that dress, I knew I had to have it. The lipstick stay not facing towards you. So I set out on a mission to make it for myself. Since I didn't have a pattern for this, I ended up making my own using the boat neck dress by Gertie as a base. I used this fabric that I got from a neighbor as a mock-up and I was really glad that I made it. I don't usually do mock-ups, but this helped me with the sizing a lot. I got four yards of this purpley set lavender satin fabric from Joann's and I think it cost about $50 for all my materials together including some fusible interfacing and a zipper. The method I'm using to make the skirt is the same one I used in my Bridget Bardot skirt and my Easter dress video, and I will link those both above. But basically, it's just my favorite way to make skirts. Alright, so we've gotten some good work done today. I've gotten everything cut out except for the collar piece, and I'm really quite scared of that actually. One of my issues I've noticed is in this picture of the back of her dress, it's much higher. I'm kind of okay with that. I know that I'm not making a cosplay, it's just like a dress for me to have, so I think some variation is going to be fine. Right now my plan is to get everything together, have the dress be strapless at the moment and then once I have the bodice put together I'll figure out how I want to do that off the shoulder sleeve thing. We'll see you in a bit. Now it was time to sew up that bodice. I marked my darts and stitched those in place first. The bodice fit pretty darn well and I ended up using that mock-up fabric as a lining because I didn't want to throw it away. Now I'm about to attach the bodice to the skirt, but first you have to do some ruffling and gathering. Several months later, have you ever found yourself so excited about a project that you're too afraid to work on it because you think you're gonna ruin it? Filmed most of this footage in February and then did not pick up the project again till August. I regretted how long it took me to do the project, but mostly just because when I did eventually pick up my fabric and decide to make the collar, it was way easier than I thought. Next, I'll show you how I did it, but just remember, if you have a project you're scared of, just try it. The worst thing that will happen is that you might get something wrong, but you'll learn from it. To make the dreaded collar, I measured around my shoulders and then ended up making a collar shape pattern piece that was the same size as my shoulders, give or take a few inches for seam allowance. 
for movement. I then made a mock-up of this out of some fleece. I put some interfacing on the inside of the satin to make sure it stand it up a bit more and trim down my seam allowances. Here's how I made the little bow to go on the front of the dress. First I started with a rectangle that I sewed, cut the corners for, and pressed so it was nice and flat. I also had this little tube that I was going to use to make the middle part of the bow and press that as flat as I could as well. Then I stitched square into a bow shape and flattened it out with my fingers. I figured out how much of the tube I needed to go around it and then just sewed it down. Quick and easy. <laughs> all right that is the cocktail dress from wandavision thank you so much for watching the video today i hope you really enjoyed it if you like this video feel free to give it a like and if you would like to see more please subscribe we're gonna have lots of new videos coming up soon all right be brave and do your best bye